in this video. Our technical analysis for the Bitcoin price met our target exactly as predicted. But the question is, will Bitcoin hold the 33,000 US dollars support line? Stay tuned to know more. So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. So let's dive into this video. So let's give you a quick recap of our previous Bitcoin price action, which is actually following this bear pennant. And with that being said, let me show you a clip of our video yesterday before playing this movement. This could somehow indicate that we might see a bear pennant. And a bear pennant is typically a continuation pattern. It's more of a movement that you're going to get the height of this and then let's say this breaks to the downside. Then we are more likely going to see a movement up until the 33,000 US dollars if this breaks bearish. So yeah, right now diving in with the Bitcoin price action now, let's move into the very short term. Kasi kanina umaga, nag-signal ako actually na meron tayong nakikitang movement for the very short term. And that is actually, if you're going to zoom in, siguro i-hide muna natin yung ibang indicators para hindi siya magulo. So if you're going to zoom in within the 15-minute time frame dito sa area na yan, this support line actually, you're, you're actually going to see na meron tayong kagabi na falling wedge forming. And look at this, we have a falling wedge kagabi. And on top of that, if you're going to open the RSI levels, you can see now we actually are forming a bullish divergence within the 15 minute time frame. I think we are also seeing that in the early time frame, you can see na meron din tayo dugunan sa early time frame na increasing RSI. And our technical target for that was actually around the 33.9k which we have met actually exactly as predicted. So congratulations if you have traded that. And then after that movement playing out, we saw a massive run up for the Bitcoin price to the upside. And then look at this, it met our resistance at around the 37.4k. But right now, what is the next move for the Bitcoin price action? So let's try to zoom out and understand this area na forming right now with the Bitcoin price. So let's try to clear other indicators first and other drawings then before we continue. But right now, as you can see, the Bitcoin price is right now forming this support area within the 33 to 34k. But on top of that support area, you can actually see na meron din tayo nag form na bullish divergence then in the 4-hour time frame. And then right now, as you can see, we are now starting to form a new resistance trend within the Bitcoin price and that is right now forming somewhat of a falling channel or a falling wedge. So right now I think it's either a I think it's more likely leaning towards a falling channel. So in that case, you might see a continuous movement to the downside playing within this movement. So in this case, 33k will actually be a very crucial area for us to hold because if we are not able to support the 33k, then yeah, I think around 32k would be our next target support. But for the time being, if you're going to look at this price action, we can actually still play within this movement, which is actually a swing tradable opportunity. So right now, this is what I'm monitoring with the Bitcoin price, which is ito ang swing tradable support area. And right now, you can actually trade that. But guys, if you want to trade Bitcoin with the lowest fees possible, the best place to trade this is actually in Binx because dito mas pura ating Bitcoin trading fees. And if you want to claim bonus dito, just use my sign-up link na you can find the description down below. But yeah, right now for the Bitcoin price, this is what we are monitoring within this falling channel and then right now i think we can possibly go lower jan but right now the 33k area must be an area that we should hold the line because if we break this movement itong falling channel na yan, if we break natin yan, then we might see a movement much lower than the 33k and then in that case 30 30k na actually magiging next support natin if we are going to follow the falling channel but right now if hindi pa siya never break then right now we are still going to continue within this movement but what would happen if we break the resistance? So if we are going to break this certain resistance, then ang magiging target natin dyan would more likely be the top of the channel, which is currently playing around the 38.1k. So right now, we have a falling channel that we should be monitoring because in this case, we could actually still continue this falling channel in order for us to form another bullish divergence. But remember, if na break ni Bitcoin itong bullish divergence, itong support line na yan, then that would more likely invalidate the bullish divergence. Take note guys, a bullish divergence is wherein the RSI is increasing while the price is declining. Then in that case, we might see a bullish trend reversal to the upside if we are going to play out this bullish divergence. But right now, Bitcoin must hold the 33k in order for us to play out this bullish divergence. So right now, that's what we are going to monitor with the Bitcoin price action, especially within the shorter time frame. Now talking about the Bitcoin dominance, as you can see, the dominance has been increasing and then di ba kapon pinakita ko sa inyo na yung ating Bitcoin dominance is actually increasing. 
in the 4 hour time frame, in the hourly as well as, as well as in the daily time frame. And diba, sabi ko sa inyo, whenever the dominance is increasing, it would mean altcoins would underperform and they would actually bleed against Bitcoin. If pababa to, then dun magiging healthy altcoins. Pero right now, pataas yung ating dominance, that is indicating na Ethereum and many more altcoins are not performing well. And if we're going to look at this latest data, you can actually see na mas malaki yung naging rebound ni Bitcoin as compared dun sa galaw na Ethereum. It's because of the increasing Bitcoin dominance humihi na yung strengths nila but you can actually see na with an increasing Bitcoin dominance you would need, you would notice na Bitcoin is going to perform better and then altcoins is relatively not performing better or they will actually underperform hindi big sabihin na mag-underperform hindi na sila mag-pump ibig sabihin lang nun, hindi ganun katas yung kanilang recovery or, or hindi siya sasabay sa mismong galaw ni Bitcoin na ganyang kataas yung kanya in-increase. Then, di ba nakita nyo dito sa Ethereum, hindi niya actually na-break yung previous high as opposed to the Bitcoin price action na-break yung previous high. So, that is the actual effect of an increasing Bitcoin dominance. So, this is why it's important that before you enter into any altcoins, you need to monitor the Bitcoin price action as well as the Bitcoin dominance before entering into any altcoins. And right now, similar with the Bitcoin price action, altcoins is more likely going to follow what is Bitcoin doing. So, if I were you, follow Bitcoin and Bitcoin dominance closely. So yun muna update natin for today guys. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.